Hey everybody, Adam or Eples Vox here, back with another Plex Media Server tutorial. Now, this is a little bit more of an advanced one, but one that was absolutely necessary for me. You see, my, uh, my Plex server, my video transcoding server slash Plex server, has a small 240 gig SSD as its main boot C drive. And as I was trying to copy files earlier today, the entire drive was full. I was trying to figure out why, since I don't really use it for anything, it kept filling up, and it turns out that Plex Media Server's metadata and sync files and cache files were filling up the drive, because I have such a large Plex library, that's a lot of data to manage. Well, it turns out you can actually, at least if you're running the Windows version, move that temporary file location to another drive, but you have to do so carefully. First and foremost, you need to make the folder for that temporary location. So on this E hard drive, which is kind of just like a transition place for a lot of the downloads I have, I made a Plex temp folder. And then once you set this up, you will want the Plex media server folder inside of that folder. Now you need to go ahead and copy your temporary files to that new location, or else you will completely wipe your Plex library like I accidentally did earlier when I was trying to make this tutorial. So go ahead and close Plex media server. So right click the system tray icon and go to exit. And then you'll want to go to your original temporary file location, which is under your username folder, app data. And if you can't see the app data folder, you need to go to view or folder options and find the checkbox for show hidden items. So app data, local, and then Plex Media Server. In this folder will be a lot of different folders, metadata, logs, uh, codecs, uh, plugins, media, things like that. You need to copy all of those files copy, not cut, because you want to make sure it works first, copy those files, and then go back to your new Plex folder and make sure the new folder is called Plex Media Server as well, and paste those into your new location. Wait for that to copy, and it's going to take a ridiculously long time. Thankfully, the new version of TerraCopy, which is a third-party file copying utility, they're not a sponsor or anything, I've been using them for years, but they just put out an update that actually handles transferring tons of small files like for me it was over like 600,000 tiny little files uh, it handles those a lot better and sped up the process a ton uh, otherwise it may have taken a couple days so if you don't have tarot copy you might want to give that a try if you have a big library but let that copy over once the copy is fully complete do not delete your files yet then go ahead and restart your plex media server allow it to load everything in make sure your library is still there because you haven't changed any settings yet but then once it has loaded back up, you will want to change that location. So once it's booted back up, open Plex, go to your settings toolkit icon. Now you'll want to click show advanced because this is an advanced setting that they don't want people screwing up. And then under general, this is a Windows specific setting. Actually, first you need to be under server, not under web. But then with advanced shown path where the local application data is stored. Now you don't want the Plex Media Server folder included in this. You just want the original, the parent folder basically. And to get that full path, since it doesn't really have a browse box, you navigate to that folder. So for me, it's E slash Plex temp. Then click in the file address box here. Just click in there away from one of the folder names and it will select the text itself. And then you can use control C to copy, come over here, hit control V to paste. And just don't paste it twice like that. <laughs> and then hit save changes. Now you won't want to exit your Plex server again. Wait for it to shut down and then navigate back to that original app data directory, the original files and go ahead and delete those. So app data, local Plex media, Plex media server. I would recommend leaving the Plex media server folder. Just delete everything out of it. And there may be a couple logs that are kind of ongoing that I won't let you delete, but delete everything else. And once that's complete, and again, that may be hundreds of thousands of files, so it may take a long time. That was 155 gigabytes for me, all in tiny little files. Once that's complete, then go ahead and um, restart your Plex Media Server, and everything should be good to go. And you will now have moved that location over, but allowed you to continue using Plex without losing your data. Because I completely lost all of my metadata and all that because I did it in the wrong order before. So I want to make sure you don't make the same mistake. But then it will, you may, it may have to update the library a little bit and so on, but then you will be good to go. 
There are a couple threads up on Plexus forums and support portals and stuff about this. They're not super clear, which is why I wanted to make a video about it. So links to those will be in the description down below. Uh, if you have any questions, I might be able to help you out. Otherwise, you will need to go to their forums, of course. Uh, but this should be a general walkthrough on how to set that up. And it cleared out, like I said, 155 gigs off my C drive, which is making the computer breathe a lot better. Now, it is worth noting that you do only want to move that to a local hard drive, not a network hard drive, because that will severely bog down and slow down your entire Plex server because it's transferring that over the network on top of interfering with your general network traffic. And you probably don't want it on a USB drive unless your whole library is there anyway because that will be a lot of quick reads and writes over and over and over to those drives which can screw with USB drivers, can slow things down over USB and things like that. So definitely recommended to be an internal solid state drive or hard drive. Hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Again, these videos are pseudo sponsored by Plex. I do have an affiliate link for Plex in the description down below. Whether you want to sign up for a free account, buy yourself a Plex Pass, or buy someone else a Plex Pass as a gift. I got affiliate links for all that. Give a small kickback to the channel. Greatly appreciate it, as always. Smash the like button if you enjoyed the tutorial. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. And I will see you in the next one.